I'm going to show you today how to make the bibingka bisaya, which we call bingka bisaya. I'm going to show you three different ways to cook this. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients. One half kilo of rice soaked in water from five hours to overnight. Two and a half cups of thick coconut milk from two coconuts. One fourth kilo sugar. One four teaspoon salt. Two teaspoons yeast. Two tablespoons baking powder. When you make bibingka using rice, rice grains, the first thing you need to do is choose the rice. The cheaper the rice, the better it is to use for bibingka. You buy the rice which is not sticky and also a rice which is what they call buhaghag and it rises well or it swells well when it's cooked. The cheaper the rice, I said, the better it is to use. Okay, you wash the rice about uh, four to five times until the water runs clear and then you soak it here. See, this is the water after you wash the rice. If you notice it's clear, it means you remove the starch already, okay? And then you soak it minimum of four to five hours and then maximum overnight. This has been soaking for five hours. Okay, let me drain this. By the way, a guide that the rice is ready to use is you get a grain and then you can cut it with your fingers, see? With your, like this. So it means this is soft enough. So this is the soaked rice. Okay. Make sure you drain it well so you get the uh, exact measurement of the liquid. If you don't have a blender, what you can do is bring it to the market and have it ground. But measure the water that they add. So that you can deduct it from the amount of liquid that you're going to add it. To add in. Okay? So here, I'm going to add in the salt. And then I have here two and a half uh, cups of coconut milk. All right. You see? There are a few small grains of rice. At this point, I'm going to add in the sugar. By the way, one fourth kilo of sugar is about one and one fourth cups. Okay, and then we have the yeast, instant dry yeast. Okay. If you're having this uh, ground in the market, you can just add the yeast and the sugar when you get home. Okay, you don't need to bring the yeast to the market. I'm going to transfer it in another bowl. Okay, here. So, this is the consistency of your mixture. As I said, do not use the expensive rice because the expensive rice is stickier. So, it does not make a good put, uh, it does not make a good bibinka. By the way, also, what makes this binka bisaya? What makes it different from the other binkas is the binka bisaya does not contain egg. Most of the bibinka around the Philippines they use this is more like puto binka. So it just has the basic ingredients: rice, coconut milk, sugar, uh, salt, and a leavening agent. Okay. Some use tuba. If you have, you have access to tuba, you can use tuba. But that's more difficult. Okay. So here, the only ingredient we haven't added yet is the baking powder. 
which we will add after one hour so what we're going to do is we're going to cover this and you let this rise for one to one and a half hours all right and we'll get back to this here is our binka our bibinka after one hour this is one hour ten minutes so you stir this the yeast has activated so now we're going to add in the baking powder you know there are some recipes where they add the baking powder and the yeast together and let it rise for one hour well you can do that but I don't see any sense in fermenting the baking powder so you mix this well to make sure that your baking powder is well mixed all right then we heat okay remember I told you I will show you three ways okay three ways to cook this we will cook we will steam this and once it's steamed they call this putubinka okay then I will show you we will put it in the oven we will bake it at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes steam also about 20 minutes or I will show you how they do it in the Bukid or in the provinces when they have no oven they have no steam I forgot to mention after you mix the baking powder you let it stand for about 10 minutes before you bake it or you cook it so you see it has a nice bubbly uh, consistency and texture okay you can use any you can use any mold this is the babinka mold and this is the uh, ensaymada or torta mold you can also use this we will use both okay I will use this for the steam this will make about uh, 24 pieces so we will put uh, we will divide this into eight eight we will bake in the oven eight we will steam and eight we will cook the old-fashioned way okay if you do not have a steamer you don't have an oven this is how they cook it in the bukid okay see I put uh, they call this buhangin or sand but I don't have the white sand this is the brown sand you put sand on your caldero about this thick about maybe one eight uh, one fourth of an inch okay then you heat this you don't need a rock if you want to put a rock it's fine but I don't put a rock so you heat the sand in the caldero okay then here see you have activated already the baking powder so you mix this let's put in about one third cup okay And then let's put some buko. This one you don't have to, but you know, it gives it a nice touch. Okay, then we cover this. This one we're going to bake this. So we'll steam this also about 20 minutes. Five minutes before the puto are done, or the puto binka, I put a little violet color. Okay, that's just for decoration, okay? And let's cover this and continue cooking. Okay, let's check our bibinka. It's not yet ready, but I want to show you here. So the top will brown even if you don't put charcoal on top because once the pot gets very hot especially the cover 
then it will uh, brown the top okay so actually this is already cooked I just want the top a little browner okay maybe five minutes all right here our bibingka is cooked already so you don't need to put charcoal on top all right I have many recipes to share with you if you're interested please like share subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded the one in the oven see it's also very nice so there is no reason you cannot uh, make this because if you don't have a steamer you can use the oven or you can use it the traditional way they make it in the provinces okay all right here our puto binka it's done okay that's uh, by the way if you want to check it just insert a cake tester you check it the way you check your cake you insert this in the middle if it comes out clean then it's done see it's clean okay 